Hi everyone, just a, a quick update today on the build of the 60mm scale Hudson Hunslet diesel. Um, I've been continuing on um, kind of assembling parts to try and uh, build a build a full model. So um, as you saw in the last video we'd got to uh, a painted uh, chassis. So what I wanted to do today was to start looking at building up the, the rest of the bodywork. Um, so what I did was I assembled the first and a full version of um, the kind of control area. Um, so that's the back of the engine bay, uh, the control area, control panels, and the, the metal form. Um, I used the metal piece that I've been um, using for a few videos now, the one that's got a little nick in it, so it's the first one I fully shaped. Um, it looked perfect when I held it against the, the part and the model. Um, it actually turns out it's slightly too uh, small. So what I did was I held it in, when I, when I cut it to size, I held it in place marked the inside on both sides then cut it um, and it looks like what I've, what's happened is I've been better at kind of um, well either I didn't get that right or, or what but basically if I put it on the on the loco um, if I just push it into place um, you can see it fits nicely did I just um, fits nicely but there's a bit of a gap here um, it doesn't come all the way down, so it's wobbly. Um, but that side, that side's a bit short as well. So I'm going to remake. I'm going to reprint this. Um, so I've reprinted uh, the two parts, and I've started on a a form. I just need to kind of finish cutting that, but that's where we are with that. Um, so that's all good. Um, I have printed a new part as well. So that's this weird-looking little thing. Now this is taken straight from the four millimeter version again um, and is essentially what I had as the control the holder for the, the rest of the control so it sits essentially here like this and provides another slot uh, for more more levers essentially to fit uh, and I think that's good I mean it's not I don't think it's not necessarily completely accurate I think there's more there's more detailing here but I, w I don't want to go too overboard a it will take me forever to model B half of it's hidden and you don't see it very much and 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 see if I don't do it then it leaves it kind of leaves scope for other people to go a bit mad on the details and since I like doing the detailing um, it gives other people a chance to do some on, on, on models that they built from from this as well um, so it's as I say it's a separate item it just glues glues on here um, which leads me to the other thing I've got and sorted which is I've sorted out control levers so in the four millimeter version these were just pieces of wire and I put a tiny little blob of glue on the end of the wire to kind of give the kind of circular end um, obviously trying to get a blob of glue big enough in this kind of scale is not really going to work um, so I need something uh, a bit better so what I've gone with is this which is essentially a kind of standard um, dressmaking sewing pin uh, with a glass that's got a glass bead on the end um, the glass bead I think is about three millimeters in diameter Possibly a tad big. I mean, in photos when I've seen these, the ball on the wire size um, should be a bit closer. So the wire should potentially be a bit thicker, the ball a little smaller on the, for the real thing. Um, but as I say, they're pretty good. Um, I should be able to cut the wire, cut the pin, bend it where necessary. Um, <clears throat> this one obviously has a, a red end. The, the box of pins I've bought is a kind of... Um, Multicolored, it's uh, yeah, multicolored. The the loco tends to have the the photos I've seen have some are red, some are black, or just metal. Um, so it's a question of I might have to paint some. But my my plan for the red ones at least is just to try and brass use the kind of um, gun blue on the steel pin to make it look kind of um, more tarnished and, and worn, and uh, possibly leave the red head as it is. But essentially, you get the idea that they'll kind of. Um, They'll slot in. Obviously, this one needs to be trimmed, but they'll just slot in place. Um, again, in, in, in here, like that will work. Um, on the on the completed on the real thing, there's also kind of levers. Um, there's a there's a there's a gear, there's a lever here, something like that. Um, let's get it so you can actually see it in the camera, um, like that. So again, um, these are just all detailing pieces. People people can add, but I think that works. That works pretty well. Obviously, as I say, cut them to size glue them in place they should be they should be fine so um, yeah so I just need to um, essentially finish remaking this and we can move on um, 
I've also uh, found a, a spray paint. Um, I think I said in the previous video I, I wanted to make try and paint this the same uh, colour as I did the the four millimetre version, but the the crimson humbrol doesn't seem to be available. So I've gone with um, this high coat. Um, it's actually called Citroen Wicked Red. The colour looks similar. I'll have to try it, but um, I think it'll be close enough. Um, I've used high coat car pram primer on this part as well, so it should go. Should be a nice combination. I've used high coat um, quite a lot. They're easy to uh, get on Amazon um, and at car stores and things. So um, they've been a, an easy source of paint. So I've used their uh, black primer, their red primer, which is like a red oxide colour, which is great for things like. Um, industrial wagons and stuff um but i think this is the first time i'm going to use a top a top coat color so i'll have to see how that goes um but yeah i also picked up a can of their ivory uh, which is ford ivory uh, which i think should be good for painting this control panel area here so on the real thing this has kind of dials and switches as well as the the controls and it's usually painted kind of ivory and white so you can see the the controls against it so i think that should that should work well there as well. Um, there'll obviously be some strange masking up to do to get all that to, to fit and work, but I, I think that should work. Um, so yeah, so um, as I say, um, had I not messed this up, we'd have had some more progress, um, but with the pins and the control panel, I think that's all the actual 3D modeling done. As I say, I've, I've already got the seat uh, adapters. You saw those in the previous video. Um, the control area was the last thing to actually print um, so it really is just now a case of um, assembling a final model so um, yeah hopefully uh, next few days certainly hopefully by the end of the week um, even if I've not managed to fully paint it I should have something that kind of is slightly more assembled um, that's a fingers crossed and see how far I get